what is the best advice from your experience that you would give to someone who's just left the religious cult? This is the question I put to ex-cult members and cult survivors and I got 248 pieces of first-hand advice and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of that advice. The 248 replies, all from different high demand cultic backgrounds, can also all be seen on the website cultscape.com uh, of which you'll find the link in the description below. Now upon studying these four, 248 pieces of advice I discovered that there were four main categories um, of uh, plus lots of specific advice also. And I'm going to give you an overview of these four categories, these main categories, uh, including some of the specifics and at the end I'll give you my personal advice as someone who got out of a cult after 22 years which was 30, now 32 years ago. So the four categories starting with the fourth was be patient, love yourself, don't blame yourself and don't feel guilty. The third category was research what others have discovered about the cult you were in by going on internet, the internet, YouTube, Facebook groups, etc. The second biggest category was get counseling, get therapy. And the number one piece of advice was get support from people, don't do this alone, find people who understand you, who relate to you, surround yourself with such people and join support groups, etc. So I'm going to start off with uh, that first main piece of advice and I'm just going to uh, give the number of how it appears on the website page. So number 30 said, try to make contact with people who have left the same cult or similar cult. They're, these are the ones who will best understand you and are most willing to help you. Number 147 said, now you can start living, you'll still experience challenges in life, but do not for one second attribute them to leaving the cult. Each person's journey is different. Travel yours. Also create a strong network of people who've just left, sorry, who you, you've left, until you feel strong enough to face the world on your own. Reach Number 17, reach out to your local community, join clubs, volunteer at the library, senior centre or local animal shelter, help out and you will make friends in your community that will support your healing. Number 149 said find others who have left cults or join a support group. This helps tremendously to talk to others who've experienced cult abuse. 35 was don't be afraid to reach out for help. There are some lovely people in this so-called evil world. 208 was surround yourself with someone or a group of people who support you, preferably someone who left the JWs. Uh, this was someone who was in the JWs and whether you're in whatever high demand cultic group you're in, uh, surround yourself with, find those people who have left, get in touch with them. And number 102 was find friends that you were not, that were not involved. Locate great healing and great and help in cult exiting. And most important, find something to replace your activities so that you no longer associate what you're doing with your past. Forgive yourself, never blame yourself, you deserve healing. And that leads on to the second main category of advice given, which was get therapy, get counselling. So here's some of the pieces of advice from that. Number 62 was don't, do not be afraid to look for a support group or get professional help. PTSD is real. 54 said, find a therapist as soon as possible. It's one thing to find people who just listen. It's totally another if someone can mentor you and also take you to another level in figuring out things for yourself. 138 said, go to therapy. If you can find a group of cult survivors, it could be a big help. I am a Marine veteran who served and I can't tell you how much th group therapy helps. All I can tell you is that it does help. When you can vent to people who understand what you're going through, it helps you deal with things. I know it helps me. I suffer from PTSD, anxiety and depression. 177 said, don't be ashamed. Get some professional help. It's going to be a rough ride, but trust me, you are not alone. 214 said, I think the thing that I needed to hear when I escaped was, it will take a long time to recover. I still find myself having to shake off the brainwashing since I was born in. 187 said, therapy to help you shorten your recovery time. I didn't and it took me 10 years to beat depression. Now this advice about therapy and uh, uh, counselling is very important because many suffer for decades, you know, without getting the help that is out there. 
Imagine if you could cut the suffering down by years by getting help. Now, I personally didn't get any help at all. I was on my own. I didn't even know <laughs> what counsellors and therapists were. But I don't recommend that. Where there's help, and there is help out there, go and get it. So, the third category of advice is to research what others have discovered about the cult you are in or are in by going on the internet, YouTube, Facebook groups, etc. And here's what a few people said. Number two said, go on Facebook or the web and search for groups of ex-members from the group you were in. Get talking and learn how they coped and overcame their challenges. A problem shared is a problem halved. Do research on the topics that the cult is adamant about, like JWs are with sexuality or the blood issue, and form your own opinions on those topics through research. Number 25 said, do your research and read books. Number 32, go on YouTube and Google and find out what others have said about the cult you are in. You are in. It can be very helpful learning about other people's perspectives. Be strong. You are worth it. And number 77 said, one of the other things that helped a great deal was to watch the Leah Remini special about Scientology. As I watched, I was able to see all the similarities between the witnesses and Scientology or any other cult. I saw the warning signs that one may be in a cult. Yep, there's lots of videos and films now out there and uh, researchers and uh, you could get a tremendous amount of help uh, in many ways from doing this. I recommend that. Fortunately, we're now living in the information age and research is easy. Just tap in the cult you are in, in Google or YouTube, and many will come up, many uh, videos and articles will come up. The fourth largest category, advice category is, be patient, love yourself, don't blame yourself and don't feel guilty. Here's a few uh, pieces of advice from that. 157, be patient. You've gone from having all the answers to realizing just how little you really knew. No, it's going to take time. Embrace the new journey you're on, it's going to be okay. 168, remember that your initial reactions to any circumstances have been molded by a cult. Be patient with yourself as you rebuild neural pathways that support critical thinking. 185, be patient, be forgiving, not necessarily for, for, for or to others straight away, but to yourself. 198, forgive yourself, start your new path, you are free. 201, don't feel guilty and don't join another, another cult. So there's the top four categories that emerged from the 248 replies. Um, I'll just summarise them. Number four, be patient, love yourself, don't blame yourself and don't feel guilty. Number three, research what others have discovered about the cult you are in or are in. Number two, get counselling, get therapy. And number one, get support from people. Don't do this alone. Find people who understand you, who relate to you, surround yourself with such people, join support groups, etc. And so uh, they were the four main categories. And I just picked out three random pieces of advice as well which i thought were absolutely brilliant and by the way everyone who contributed to that 248 list thank you very much what you wrote down there might be life-changing for somebody uh, to whatever degree so thank you number 70 said take the time to find out who you really are and what you really believe and why you believe this way it takes time to recover your feeling of self-sufficiency at first, you may still seek approval of others you deem smarter and more capable than you, but to get past this, you must learn to start trusting your gut, your own instincts and feelings. Become, becoming an individual is a process. Best wishes to everyone who has enough courage to take the first step and get yourself or your children out of a cult. And number 10 said, from my experience, chill. Don't rush into trying to be the same as the wider population. A lot of them are not even sure about themselves. It's actually good to be a bit different. It's part of your character. Remember, you are a strong person, otherwise you wouldn't have got this far. Try to build your network of friends slowly from the people you know and trust. Be prepared for some knockbacks. They will happen. Also, there are some people out there that are in much worse, cir worse circumstances that have been through dreadful abuse, so always be cautiously compassionate. Weigh things up carefully before you make a decision. Never be afraid to love someone if it feels right. Just don't rush. You'll get there. And here's one of my favourites. I, I don't know what number it is on the list. Think of yourself as a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. Take the time to let your wings dry. 
and soon you'll be able to fly. So uh, a whole load of advice there. Um, it's all on the website. Uh, you'll see it in the uh, description below. I said at, by the end, I'd give you my personal advice. I got uh, out almost 32 years ago. I was trapped for 22 years. I was born into the exclusive brethren. And uh, I knew that if I left, I quite probably wouldn't see my family again, which is what happened. Um, so my advice is to get this book, Cult Escape, that I wrote, and it took me three years to write. It's um, my complete story of my cult experiences. There's three sections. There's in, out and shake is all about. In, in is nine um, chapters on my years in the cult. Uh, out is four chapters of what happened well, after I left the cult. Um, and shake it all about is 11 chapters of issues regarding cults and observations and studies. And uh, for example, do religious cults split up families? Coercive control, what is a religious cult? Uh, and how to escape the cult you're in. That took me over a year to write. You could want to read that. And the conclusion. And uh, the conclusion is the conclusion and the solution to religious cults. Yes, I came up with one. I think you'll like it. In fact, you got this so far uh, in this video, right to the end. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm going to tell you what I believe the conclusion is, which you could read all about in here if you want to. Unconditional love. So, please subscribe uh, to this video. Please uh, like and comment. And if you would like to add to that list of 248 of advice to help people escape cults, please put it in the comments and I'll put it on the website. And um, uh, that, I think, for now, is it. It is. Thank you for listening and I'll see you soon.